A neighbor used an extinguisher to help stop a cooking fire spreading from the kitchen of a Southeast Bend home Friday evening. The fire had spread to combustibles near the stove and the kitchen cabinets. Fire crews arrived on Devon Circle and found the neighbor had extinguished most of the fire with a dry chemical fire extinguisher. The fire cost $30,000 in damages. News Channel 21 spoke with Deputy Fire Marshal Cindy Kettering on how to maintain a safe cooking space in your kitchen. Don't walk away from anything that you're cooking, even if you think it's just going to be for a minute. The second thing is always make sure that you're dressed appropriately for the occasion. Um, and that means wearing clothing that's more snug fitting, not something that's super loose. Uh, consider your sleeves, make sure they're good and close fitting um, because a, a hot burner or hot appliance can ignite clothing quite readily. Also, when you're cooking, make sure that you're not taking medication that can make you drowsy or affect your ability to cook. Um, we've had instances where people have put something in the oven or on the stove. They've sat down for a moment and actually fallen asleep with items on the stove or in the oven. It's also recommended to have a lid or a cookie sheet on hand to cover the pan with. And as a reminder, it's important to have working smoke alarms. Ben Fire and Rescue says that cooking fires are the leading cause of home fires and injuries.